Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and we're gonna get straight into our explosive penny stock watch list. So the first stock we're looking at here is Humble on the daily time frame, up five percent. And I want to update you guys here on what we are looking at right now. So we got a back test of our 50 SMA as well as a major level of resistance that Humble desperately needs to break out of. The reason why I say that is because if we actually trend downwards for the next couple of trading sessions, we will eventually get back down to these levels at around 75 cents. The reason I say that is because this right here is a very bearish setup. This is signified as what we call the death cross. This is when your 50 SMA crosses down the 200. And this is a time where you don't wanna be a buyer, but you wanna wait for the price to go even lower to scoop it up at an even cheaper price. If Humble in the next couple of trading sessions can break past this 50 SMA and hold the 50, then our 50 SMA will eventually curl right back up and it will start another uptrend, which would be an extremely bullish sign, which would let you know that now is the time to load up for the next level up. However, if in the next couple of trading sessions we get rejected and we actually trend downwards, then I would be patient until we actually see even lower prices before average down or loading up your position and so that is kind of where I am right here with humble if on Monday and Tuesday we break past we hold this level it looks like that this 50 is going to curl right back up then that would be a great signal to buy in on humble for the next level up and if we get rejected on Monday and Tuesday and we trend down then be patient wait for the price to bottom out because if we do get rejected we are going to get clobbered and it's going to happen pretty quick and at that point is when I would load up and just solidify my position for the future in humble next stock of the day we're looking at wdlf on the daily time frame so we were up 10 percent today but this stock is extremely volatile a couple hours ago i looked at the stock it was down five percent and then we closed up 10 percent so the volatility is actually a great thing and the reason why i say that is because this volatility works both ways we have saw the price action trend down for many months now and eventually this is going to reverse course and when it does it's going to happen quick and it will be very monstrous and so the best thing in my opinion to see here with wdlf would be if our 50 sma bounces off this 200 day sma and so what would that look like that would mean that our price action will slowly start to come back Back up and by the end of July we will be trading at double zero eight and then at this point we could see our 50 bounce up and that would be the best case scenario however if we go back up and we get rejected by our 50 then it does not look good for WDLF in the medium term it does look like we will start to get lower prices and so the main thing to look out for for WDLF is the back test of this 50 SMA if we get rejected it won't look good if we break above it it may be the time to be loading up here on social life network next stock of the day we're looking at iGen on the daily time frame only up a percent but this stock just continues to just consolidate in this range you can see right here we did get our death cross however our price action has not really drifted away from this point we have been holding this level of support very nicely you can see this could be considered a double bottom right here which is indicative of a very strong move that would lead the price action to the upside if we just look here on our macd we actually did get a crossover so this in itself was bearish but i want to remind you guys about our accumulation which i will pull up right here you could see even on the days that we are down our accumulation is always up so since this point in time we have just seen our accumulation go up 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 people are not selling the stock and if they are selling the stock they are manipulating the price to buy back even more at a lower price and so that is what this accumulation is telling me so if you are in this stock and you are afraid or you are getting impatient this is just how the game of stocks work when you find a gem especially at this price it's not just going to go up right away it's going to test your patience to see if you really believe in your investment and so if you do believe in your investment like i do you should not be concerned about this position just patiently wait because one day you will be rewarded and that is indicative of our accumulation if this accumulation was not this beautiful then maybe i would be a little bit more nervous here on igen but because i see nothing but accumulation i am not stressing whatsoever here on igen it's just a matter of time until our chart 
measures up here and matches with our accumulation. Next stock of the day, we're looking at Segai on the daily time frame. I know I forgot to add this to our watch list the last video, but I am here right now to update you guys. And I want to mention again, our accumulation is very steady on this stock. So these prices that we are seeing are actually going to get very attractive. So it looks like we are going to get our death cross eventually. If our price action does not pick back up, this will cross down. And when that happens, Segai will go lower in the short term. At those times is when you should be scooping up as much as you can. And the reason why I say that for Segai is because not only is this company just going to progress and get better and have more shows put out on Amazon Prime and other platforms, but the accumulation has just been very steady. Nobody has been really selling the stock. And so when you see something like this, that clear divergence should give you more confidence about the stock. And so when I'm looking at the price action below all of its SMAs, this right here was bearish when we got rejected by our 200, which lets me believe that we will even drift further down from this point, which may be hard to stomach for people who have bought this stock all the way up here. However, just remember, you are getting great opportunities to average down your position if you believe in your investment. So if you bought all the way up here, at 11, 12 cents, there should be no reason you're not buying at two cents, at one cents, because this is going to be when you actually get your real money made, when you can bring your average cost down, when you can make your position bigger. And so when the next run happens, you're going to be well prepared and you are going to be able to cash out. Next talk of the day, we're looking at MJNA on the daily time frame. So MJNA down 2%. This one continues to drift down. Our 50 SMA could still drift even further. You could see the difference between this and let's say Segai is this one has shown a ton of distribution and so when I look at the price it leads me to believe that this could go a lot lower than higher just because people are selling and they're not accumulating whereas Segai you could see it was steady the line was there people aren't really selling however our price keeps drifting down and so that divergence should let you know that you should be buying in however with MGNA I can't say the same right now it doesn't look the greatest on a technical level it does seem like we could go even lower you could see we got a cross down here we could not make our macd reach the positive territory so it does look a little bit scary here on mjna next talk of the day we're looking at alyi on the daily time frame we were down about two percent today but our price action has been quite steady in my opinion we had that nice surge in volume we saw the price action surge we got our back test of our 50 sma our MACD is now in the positive territory, so this is a very bullish setup. You can see we've had slight distribution, but overall it is still a lot stronger accumulation than we have seen recently. So overall, it does look like we are not going to get our death cross here on ALYI. Extremely bullish. Look for ALYI to continue this momentum. Our 50 should start to curl right back up, and we should start to see the price action move higher here for ALYI. Next talk of the day, looking at HYSR up 2% today. We did get our death cross. We've got rejected by our 50 a whole bunch of times. So this setup again does not look great at all. You could see our 100 SMA is coming down steep right now. And if we get rejected one more time, it is not looking good. HYSR will continue to bleed in my opinion because they do not have a legitimate product out for sale yet. So there is no real reason and no real hurry to be buying this stock. Next stock of the day, we're looking at RDGL here. RDGL just continues to be a volatile stock that in my opinion is a buy. This is probably one of my favorite stocks just because of the amount of upside it could potentially have. If FDA approves their radio gel on humans, the sky is not only the limit, but this thing is going to rocket to a whole different stratosphere. And that is no joke at 11 cents a company that could legitimately change the entire world is going to be a crazy phenomenon and you can just see the accumulation on this bad boy has been crazy so it is getting ready people are anticipating some great news and even if we don't get the great news they are still progressing here in their iso pet therapy you could see our macd had a very nice crossover extremely bullish setup where above all of our smas i believe rdgl is a strong buy just not only for the pre-anticipatory run for the fda approval but if it gets approved this thing is going to gap up like I've never seen before. I could see this stock gapping up from about 20 cents to about a dollar, two dollars, 
intraday and then climbing all the way up past ten dollars and that is no joke this thing could be massive the hype around this technology is no joke you shouldn't treat it very lightly especially at these prices you should see this as a gift to load up on a potential 15 to 20 to 50 to 100 bagger of a stock next stock of the day we're looking at acdc on the daily time frame so any weakness in acdc is a buying opportunity and that is confirmed by all the contracts that this company continues to get so this is a very long-term hold if you hold this for five years at least you are going to see tremendous gains so these short-term swings and movement should not be a concern for most investors i don't believe people are in acdc for the swing i do believe people in this stock are in for the long Long run so being down five percent is not the worst thing to see yes we are now below our 50 sma and so we did also get a bearish cross down so we actually may get better opportunities to buy acdc so be patient if you are still yet to get in if you are in this as a long-term investor there's no reason you shouldn't be continuing to load up however there may be other opportunities you want to put your money to work because again acdc is a lot longer term of a play where some other stocks like an rdgl could be more of a quicker play to make your money and maybe move in a bigger position in acdc next stock of the day we're looking at job on the daily time frame so this stock has been newly added to our explosive penny stock watch list i did end up buying this stock yesterday and so we are now still above our 50 day sma you could see even on a day that we were down it was on low volume and so we have a nice little movement happening here with our macd job is going to be one of the better stocks for a reopening play finally got the price action above the 50 so that is why i bought in if you guys want to know more about why i bought in i made a video yesterday explaining how to find undervalued stocks i believe job is extremely undervalued and i expect this one to pay out a handsome return in the medium term next stock of the day we have staff on the daily time frame so staff is the similar type of play here on job very similar style companies and so overall they both have a very strong upside in terms of their cycle you could see we had this death cross here both in job both in staff around the same time you can see staff has its price action above its 50 and so does job so these are trading very similarly together if i was to choose between both of these stocks i would say i'm going to take job over staff just because of the gap to fill here to the upside however both stocks should be trading above a dollar and so either one is not a bad idea however if i was to pick a one of them i would pick job next stock of the day we're looking at sndl on the daily time frame down three percent and i know i continue to bash this stock but that is because i believe that is extremely overvalued especially compared to high tide high tide is my favorite cannabis play and my only cannabis play that i currently hold in my portfolio i believe that if i'm comparing the two high tide is not only way more undervalued but it's just a way better company and also a way better run company sndl has the momentum and the volume behind it which means that there's great opportunities to make money off of swing trades and if we're looking at the price action right now we are above our 50 sma we got our back test so the setup right here doesn't look too bad if we get a couple more green days our macd will actually curl up but i do want to mention that the distribution on the stock has been disgusting you can see this is clear divergence we've had distribution day and night here on SNDL however our price action has gone up so be careful with this one if you are trying to play this for a long-term play because even though this is going to run up through any sort of macroeconomic news related to federal legalization SNDL should not be in the long-term portfolio if you want it as the best cannabis play refer to my video that I just posted on high tide if you want to know why that's the best one and so if you guys enjoyed this quick little update on our explosive penny stock watch list, don't forget to like. We are on the road to 10K subs. So if you made it to this point, feel free to hit that subscription button. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.